And joining me now via Skype is Wade Shepard. He's a contributor to Forbes magazine. He joins us from Jinmen Island off the coast of Taiwan. Thanks so much for joining us. Talk to us about the significance of these new trains. On these trains, um, they're not just key pieces of technology that kind of goes into, that, that kind of plays into China's broader um, transportation infrastructure network, but it, they're also a message. I mean, they're a message to the world that China no longer needs, you know, the technologies of Europe or Japan um, to make their own trains. And it's kind of in keeping with this broader movement of China to kind of own the IP of the technologies that they use and the, and the items that they are making and shipping out to the rest, of, um, shipping out to, <clears throat> sorry, and shipping out to the rest of the world. So, talk to us about the the future of uh, bullet train technology in China. I mean, given these advances. Well, when we're talking about like faster trains, more trains, uh, more efficient connections, more stations, and, and farther reach. I mean, basically, they started this uh, high-speed rail um, system. I mean, it, it basically amounts to like a national movement to kind of cover this country in this grid of high-speed rail lines. And now they're up to like, you know, 22,000 kilometers of these lines. And I mean, the... I mean, and what they are doing is essentially, you know, trying to build, you know, the best, you know, world-class infrastructure network um, out of anywhere in the world. And the reason for this is, you know, China's development model could be called transport-oriented development, where they kind of build transportation nodes and transportation hubs, and then kind of build new cities and new high-tech zones and new um, economic zones based off these uh, transportation networks. The Belt and Road Initiative, I mean, can you see this moving beyond China? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, for many years, China has been trying to export their high-speed rail technologies. And it hasn't always been going uh, very well up to now. I mean, they had, you know, perspective, you know, high-speed rail agreements with, you know, the United States between Las Vegas and Los Angeles, Mexico, Indonesia, Belgrade to Budapest. So they're trying to make all of these deals with all these other countries to, first of all, build. Um, these new world-class high-speed rail lines, and also to kind of use their own rolling stock on them. So this is uh, with this with these new trains, with this new technology. Um, it's another, it's, it's it's a bigger effort um, to export you know Chinese technologies globally. Well, Wade Shepard coming to us uh, from Jinmen Island with his perspective on all of this. Thanks so much.